So I've just finished work for the day and I quickly came out to the woods while there's still some light. I was in this spot probably a couple of years ago and noticed what I thought was a chanterelle. It was a chanterelle. But I was really surprised because the wood that I'm in at the moment doesn't tend to have a lot of mushrooms. But in any case, look at this. These are beautiful chanterelles. Cantharella sebarius. Where I've normally found these would be on steep slopes, often where there's a lot of water, a lot of disturbed ground actually. They seem to like messed up ground. A lot of mushrooms do seem to like messed up and disturbed ground. I can only assume it's because that signals to them that there's a change of habitat and so that's a good place to spore and to sporulate and to evolve essentially to, to take advantage of the new habitat. So look at this, this is a wonderful chanterelle. You can see the kind of yellow colour and these will stand out against the background. And if you look closely, it doesn't really have gills. It has kind of folds. These are not gills, they're barely above the surface of the stem. The stem is very thick. The stem is very solid and it's pure white throughout the stem. And this is just a fantastic specimen of a chanterelle. And these also have a faint smell of apricots, would you believe it? There are a couple of things you could get them mixed up with, but probably only at a cursory glance. There's something called the false chanterelle, which is also edible by a number of books they suggest it is edible too so you're not making a fatal mistake the worst you could probably make mixing up with a false chanterelle would be some kind of severe gastrointestinal problems but nothing fatal but once you see the chanterelle it is so solid and robust and the gills are just almost non-existent and you, you really can't mistake it for a false chanterelle once you've seen both of them. In a future video I will find false chanterelles because they're quite abundant and quite common. And I'll show you, hopefully try and show you a comparison. Now if you can see against the forest floor, the chanterelles are yellow and they're showing up. There's some slightly older ones there, but look how they kind of pop out against the background. It's very interesting. But that, there you go, that is chanterelles. And if you can find them, they are an awesome mushroom. They are a fantastic culinary delight. They are just so kind of sweet and delicious tasting. They've got to be probably my favorite mushroom actually. So I am super pleased with finding the monster chanterelle patch. I had a look around the area and there must be around 50 square meters of chanterelles, an enormous number and I had no idea they were there. I've look, been looking there for a number of years or in that area and now of course I know that they're there. So Canth Cantharellus sebarius, sebarius in Latin means good to eat and chanterelle comes from cantharos in Greek which means vase. There's um, uh, Cantharellus formosa. Formosa means uh, like a beautiful form. So these things are known to be beautiful. They contain large amounts of vitamin D2, which is suspected is why that slugs and things don't tend to attack them. They contain vitamin A and there's a whole bunch of strange compounds as usual. If you're perhaps wondering why there's always antibacterial compounds, well, it's because <laughs> These are living organisms and bacteria will eat them and attack them just like they would us if we didn't have antibacterial compounds in, in ourselves. So they always tend to have antibacterial compounds. Another interesting thing about mushrooms is that they're more, more closely related to us than we are to plants. So we branched from the same progenitor and we form supposedly stomachs inside our bodies whereas mushrooms form stomachs outside their bodies and <laughs> this is why a lot of mushrooms kind of feel fleshy and their protein they breathe oxygen as well 
chanterelles um, form mycorrhizal relationships with trees so you can't cultivate them although in 2007 I think somebody managed to get uh, with pine seedlings they managed to get the mycelium to grow before that no one could really do it so perhaps cultivations on the way they've probably got some kind of medicinal properties as this kind of folklore and so on saying that they're good for the eyes the, the antibacterial properties are probably good for other things. In Tanzania, apparently, it's even used in some kind of concoction to try and treat HIV. I have no idea whether that's any way successful or not. But I just thought it was interesting. So that's the chanterelle. Tastes like a sort of mild apricot smell. And it just has a kind of fruity taste, perhaps a little bit spicy, but mild and sweet at the same time. Very difficult to describe. Goes fantastic with fish. And in Russia, it's called Lysiki, meaning little fox. Probably pronounced that wrong. And yeah, it's just a beautiful mushroom, which I'm really looking forward to eating for breakfast tomorrow because it's just going to fill me with energy. It's you know, they've just got magic powers, these things. It fills you with an abundance of happiness when you find a bunch of chanterelles and eat them. One of the identifying features that you'll see in chanterelles is you'll see these kind of joints or branching between the gills. And there's, it's very, very rare that you will see that. You see bifurcations on gills, so they'll split. But the on chanterelles, you will see kind of joins, just arbitrary joins across multiple times rather than bifurcations. And if you just look it's kind of if you look at the base of it you can see how you know these are kind of they're not really gills. And I'll just show you the flesh inside one of these as well. Um, you can see there that the flesh is um, nice and white throughout. Just to show you what else I've got in the basket today, found a nice penny bun, you know, nice and solid throughout, not really very worm eaten, you know, it was slug eaten, it's pretty solid, nice little one. A slightly bigger one, it's a bit worm eaten on the top, but it's very solid inside, not very old. Uh, found a wood mushroom, but I'm not going to go into that. I'm not going to eat that, I just bought that back for identification purposes. And I've got a bunch of chanterelles. I've left the rest, there were so many in their kind of budding state that I'm just super excited to go back there at the weekend and just find a ton more of grown. There's just so many there, I can't believe it, it's, it's awesome.